All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we are live. And we are, I hope I get this right, we have my, my good friend, Kevin Honeycutt, is that yeah. correct? On here, and he's a um, specialist on, well, I guess social media altogether, but especially for LinkedIn, and that's what we're here for, for LinkedIn specifically training. Right. Um, with his expertise and what, what he calls the Power Profit Profile. Um, go ahead, Kevin, let us know, first of all, who you are personally and who you are professionally. So I'm uh, originally from Southern California and uh, currently living in Las Vegas, Nevada. Fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada. Nice. Uh, cur currently just now opening up from this pandemic. But uh, yeah. um, in, in the past, I have a uh, marketing IT background and have recently, the last decade, been involved in the financial services vertical and uh, pretty much doing a great job on LinkedIn specifically uh, for helping uh, professionals increase their lead volume. Nice. Nice. And we talked about this a couple of days ago. And I, I tell you what, I was fascinated by um, the content that you have. And I'm just excited to have you in here. And we're not going to waste any time. We got 30 minutes. <laughs> he has a great presentation we're going to show you. We're trying to get it fixed up here. So we're going to set it up. I um, hope everybody's ready for this. And we're going to get in here and we're going to talk about um, talk about LinkedIn, your LinkedIn profile, how it can be powerful. Yeah, before uh, before Brian, before you start that up, um, sure, sure, sure. Uh, let, uh, let's do that uh, some dialogue and then um, and then pull up that presentation that sent you. Sure, sure. Because um, so you, you, we were talking about some uh, some information that your viewers might want to know about uh, LinkedIn specifically, like why LinkedIn, right. Do you want me to shoot, shoot a screen now or later? Um, for, for later. Uh, okay. we'll, that's what we'll sure. go through that pretty quick. Um, sure, go right ahead. You know, what the, the question, just to, to recap, yeah, the question that you'd asked me was why LinkedIn? Um, yeah. you know, what's the benefit of LinkedIn? Is is it, you know, a lot of people perceive it as kind of a, uh, a resume type of site right. uh, and, you know, don't see much value there and not, not sure how, how it works sometimes. Um, and if you're new to LinkedIn, um, I'll actually walk through that process, but uh, basically LinkedIn is kind of more of the professional version of uh, Facebook, if you will. You know, Facebook where you post pictures of your birth date and, uh, you know, uh, family events, things like that, personal interest things. Uh, LinkedIn is more on the professional side, but it's still personal, uh, personal with the professional side. Uh, where people ask me, uh, you know, how, how, is, how is it? That may work great for B2B, but what about uh, B2C and yeah. you know, being consumer? And I say that there's no such thing as B2B, uh, business mm -hmm. to business. It's all people to people. Okay. Because like you do business with a person. That person works at a company, but you're doing business with a person. You're communicating with a person. Um, a lot of people don't do uh, business with a brand. They might do business with a person at that company because of the brand awareness but they're still doing business with a person. Um, you know, this, and, and you can look back at the, the places where you shop uh, and do business, any sort of business. If you shop at a big box store, uh, like a Target or a Home Depot or something like that, you're, you may be shopping there because of the brand, but you're actually interacting with a person. And you may end up going back to that specific location because of the individual. The individuals make the reality uh, even more personal. So uh, for example, on LinkedIn, um, LinkedIn is all about personal profiles, okay. and those profiles are associated with corporate presences. So you have an entity that is present, and then you have individuals that are associated with that entity. Um, you can also join groups and things like that, similar to Facebook, uh, which a lot of people are already familiar with. Awesome. I love that. I love that that, that um, your, your concept of saying person to person is, is, is what it really is about. Awesome. Awesome. So. Yeah. Go ahead. As far as the, um, the your your uh, experience with LinkedIn, um, you know, if you want to pull up that presentation now, we can kind of go through that. Sure. Uh, I'm going to give some insight into the three P's that I've discovered as uh, very important for having a presence on social media and how to actually turn your profile into a power profit profile. Uh, this is this is something I've developed over almost a decade now of the components that really make up what you should have in your social media profile. And I'm going to use LinkedIn as the example, and you'll see some parallels here with some other social media platforms. But okay. for LinkedIn specifically, uh, the, these uh, these examples will 
uh, apply. And I'll actually show you some sample profiles that need some help. Yeah. <laughs> so kind of what yeah. not to do. Yeah. Um, and then we'll point out what to do, what to do uh, better. You know, nothing's perfect, but we'll go through it. So basically the, the top three components here, we've got presence, promotion, and process. Those are the three Ps that make up a power profit profile. And um, I'm not sure how I can, am I able to go to the next slide? Yep, or, here we go. Can you see me? I'll give you a thumbs yep. up. Go ahead. Yep. Um, so of the presence, we've got audience, banner, headline, the about section, and a CTA. If you're familiar with marketing at all, CTA stands for call to action. So let's actually go through these components here. Um, let's go uh, next one. Um, LinkedIn, if you haven't signed up or signed in, uh, this is typically what you'll see, a variation of this to get started and sign in. Um, let's go next. And uh, if you are, if you do have an account or if you forgot what your account is, you can do the forgot password um, function and try to figure out which email address you may have signed up with in the past. If you have signed up uh, in the past, but you still want to sign up again, feel free to do that. LinkedIn may recognize you. You may be able to find your profile and then consolidate the profiles. So let's go next. Awesome. Um, so once you log in, you'll get to the home page, which uh, you can see that I'm logged in here, and uh, it's got my information at the top left. Kind of a news feed, real similar to Facebook. LinkedIn kind of follows Facebook as far as functionality, some basic functionality and ideas, so that the user experience is more consistent. Um, so let's go next. Sure. Um, and at the very top of LinkedIn, one of the things you want to do is search for the audience that you want to reach. Hmm. Um, and you can do this with a free account. You don't need to pay anything for this. Uh, with the with the free account, one of the areas that you want to search for, whether you have connections or not, maybe you've already connected with um, with a, a few people. You could have a handful of connections already, or a five hundred plus. Okay. Um, I personally have thousands of connections, but I had to start somewhere, and I started with my friends and people that I knew in real life and then reached out from there. So the people that I've connected with, that's my first level connection, people that I have a direct connection with. Um, people that know my connections would be my second level. Okay. If that makes sense. So kind of the six degrees of Kevin Bacon, if you've heard that, <laughs> that yeah. phrase before, um, where you, you, you know somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody, you can pretty much find just about anybody in the world, connect with anybody in the world through six degrees. Um, and uh, there's actually a game of Six Degrees of Kevin Bacon that was uh, popular a while back uh, right, right. Yeah, with, with his movie career because he's been in so many movies. <laughs> uh, but in any case, uh, when, after you've made a few connections, if you start looking at your second level connections, in this, in this uh, screen here, we've mm -hmm. got second level connections. Um, and I picked a couple industries here uh, just to pull up some profiles of people who I'm not connected with. So I looked at uh, financial services and real estate. And then um, I'm in Las Vegas, but I just picked Dallas, Fort Worth, just for sake of example here. Okay. Uh, and when you search for this, um, go ahead to the next slide here. Yeah. Um, you'll see the search results. And, and here I've got about, uh, I think it's about six, uh, 16,000 results. Now, wow. obviously, you, you're not going to reach out to 16,000 people. <laughs> right. But, um, you know, in, in this case, I just grabbed a couple profiles and uh, picked, I picked out three profiles, which I want to just kind of blaze through here real quick. Yeah. Um, let's go to the next slide. Uh, this first profile here, I've highlighted some sections of the profile. So Octavio uh, Santos Jr., CFC. Yeah. Uh, you can see this, the, the indicator second right there, 2ND, that says that he's my second level connection. So this is somebody who I'm not directly connected with, um, but I know somebody who knows him. So let's say uh, I know Brian and Brian knows Octavio and LinkedIn says, hey, uh, Octavio, you might want to connect with Kevin because you know Brian. Brian knows Kevin. So LinkedIn kind of does some of the selling for you. Okay. Now, before you start connecting with people, you want to get your message right, um, which is the second box there below Octavio's name, um, which is your headline. This headline is absolutely key because this is your, your basically your first introduction. This is your elevator pitch, if you will. Um, and I'll, sh I'll show you where this shows up in a couple of other places. But basically when LinkedIn is sharing your information with other people, potential connections or existing connections, LinkedIn is gonna share your photo, that little photo 
of you, which you know should have something nice there, your headline below your name. So those three sections are your photo, your name, and your headline. That's kind of your first introduction. That's your little LinkedIn business card, if you will, that LinkedIn is going to share that information with other people. Now, mm -hmm. once somebody sees your name and your headline and they say, hmm, I want to look at your profile, they're going to go to look at your profile and typically look at the about section. Some people have about sections, some people don't. If you don't have it, you would want to add it. But the about section is typically where somebody says, hey, this is how great I am. This is what I do. This is about me and my awards. And all, you know, here's my best friend and uh, all this stuff and about how great they are. That's the wrong place to put that. <laughs> okay. You don't want to include that, but down lower in the section, you really want to speak to your audience, which is why it's important to understand who you're talking to who your, your profile is speaking to from a marketing standpoint. You as an individual want to attract people that might do business with you. So you want to have your message speak to that audience. And I'll show you some examples of that. Um, let's go on to the, the next uh, slide there. Mm -hmm. So here we have uh, Tricia Ward, um, MBA. Again, a second level connection to me personally. Okay. Uh, senior financial consultant. She actually doesn't even have an about section on her profile. Uh, so that's something that she would definitely want to include to reach out further to her audience. As a financial consultant, Tricia here um, might want to reach out to uh, small business owners. Um, she might want to reach out to people geographically within her area, okay. within a radius of her area, um, of which you can do with the uh, with the search functionality on LinkedIn. So you can identify your audience, and then you want to craft a message on your LinkedIn profile to speak to that directly to that audience. Um, here, Tricia also has a, a banner at the top uh, that is, uh, looks like the skyline of, um, where is that, is that New York? Uh, Dallas, no? Dallas, no. looks like ocean in the background. Oh, okay. <laughs> in, in, a finan in the financial world, maybe that's uh, you know Wall Street down there, down below. Okay, right? yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, yeah, maybe yeah. it resonates with people in, in that geographic area where that photo is, looks like New York maybe. Yeah. Um, uh, and, and when somebody goes to her profile, that may resonate with them, that photo. So okay. that's actually a good thing to have is, is a banner at the top that resonates with your intended audience. Because um, honestly, we really don't care what your colleagues think of your profile. We don't care what your, your family thinks of your profile. Um, on LinkedIn, this is all about business, not all about business, but mostly about business. Yeah. And so you want to have a profile that speaks to the audience that you might do business with. Now, on the I, I see on uh, as far as the headline, what, what are you looking for for people to say on the, on the headline? Um, on the headline, yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, some businesses may have a requirement for you to have a specific specific words or phrases in your headline. Um, okay. A lot of times that people put their job title there, which is not really what you want to put there. You want to put something that speaks to the audience that engages them so that they would want to click on your profile and then thus see the about section and see a little bit more information about, about what to do, what you do, what to do, and what to do next. Awesome. Um, that's the call to action, which we'll get to here in a second. Awesome. Um, but let's go on to the next slide here. I'm going to show you uh, uh, another aspect of this. Um, so here, uh, Kelly C. Uh, no last name. That's a setting on LinkedIn. You can choose to display your full name or not uh, from a privacy standpoint. Um, mm. she's got 500 plus connections. She she has the generic banner graphic at the top. Um, yeah, it is. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. It just doesn't help. Okay. Um, you know, if you had a business card, you wouldn't want to have just black text on a white business card. You want to have some sort of uh, you know, uh, presence on your on your business card. So this being kind of a digital business card. Okay. Uh, Kelly here has, you know, also a financial advisor. Uh, she just showed up in those results. Second level connection to me. Um, and the about section, there's what, two sentences there? Not quite enough to explain really how she can help her intended audience okay. or just about anybody. I mean, honestly, most people probably don't want to talk to a financial advisor unless they have to. <laughs> or they have to. Sure. I found that out in real estate. You know, everybody knows a real estate agent. Right. But nobody really wants to talk to a real estate agent about real estate until okay. they absolutely need their services. Gotcha. Um, at which time, you know, if you're looking specifically for a financial advisor, you might search financial advisor on LinkedIn, but how do you determine who to, who to contact? Mm. Graphically, maybe in your area, maybe somebody who's got a nice, nice appealing photo, um, or maybe you like, you, you like their name or whatever. Uh, maybe you like the company that they're with, uh, because you're, you're aware of their brand. Um, but in reality, 
people do business with people. So we want that headline to speak out to that audience. And here's where that's going to show up. Um, let's go ahead and go to the, the next slide. I'm going to show you my profile here. Sure. So uh, in at, at the top, of course, I've got a, a, a custom banner that I made. Uh, very, very easy to make. Uh, I use Canva, C-A-N-V-A dot com. It's a free graphics yeah. tool to be able to create that. Um, very simple to use, uh, free. Yeah and creates it the right size for you to upload into your LinkedIn profile. Um, I've got a, a photo there of myself. Um, you know, I, I cut out uh, the picture and cropped it to make it fit there. I've got my name, of course, my headline, and then my about section. Now, my headline, if you notice, my headline is not my job title. It's not, uh, it's not about me as much as it is my audience. Uh, here in this case, I'm trying to reach financial advisors. So I use keywords and terms that resonate with that audience. So I've got some, uh, you know, the word marketing in there, um, you know, custom implementation, coaching. I've got some acronyms specific to the financial services industry that resonate with that audience. If you're not in that audience, you may not even know what those acronyms mean. And in most cases, you know, I, I, although I can help other people other than financial advisors, I may not, I may not turn away business, but at the same time, I want to speak to that audience. And I even uh, added the words click here in brackets. Um, <laughs> if, you, if you notice on the right side of the page there where uh, there's a box, a red box around uh, the word that says people also viewed in that right column to the right of the, uh, of my profile section, uh, LinkedIn shows you 10 other profiles that maybe other people viewed in addition to the profile you're currently looking at. So if you look at my profile, LinkedIn is probably going to show you 10, 10 profiles on that right side okay. that, that LinkedIn thinks that are maybe popular, if you will. Um, and if you notice there, there's the little photo, there's the headline and their name. Those three components are key because LinkedIn okay. is trying to do the selling for you. So if somebody looks at my profile and then they look, or they look, look let's say they look at your profile, Brian, and uh, then they look at uh People also viewed, and then my profile shows up, my little picture, my name, and my entire headline is going to show up there. Uh, yeah. So if my entire headline speaks to the audience that I'm trying to reach, and, and, if, and somebody in financial services sees my profile on the right side there, and it says click here, it has yeah. some key words that resonate with them. It says click here. I, I've, I've not even seen anybody else's profile that has click here in the headline. But I've never seen that. Well. Yeah, I've never seen that, Kevin. Look, <laughs> wow, this is incredible stuff. If everybody is not on here right now, we're going to make sure people see this because this is like amazing, amazing. Yeah. It's just crafting the right the right message to the intended audience, and yeah. LinkedIn gives you those components there. So when somebody clicks on my profile, they, they want to find out more. In the About section, my About section is not so much about me but about my audience. So it literally starts out as an open letter and says, Dear Financial Advisor, and then there's a, a message there that goes into, and let's go to the next slide. We'll see the, the entire about section. You can see how long this about section is here on my profile. And this is just an example. Uh, it doesn't mean you have to copy this, but this, this is what uh, formula works well for me and works well for my clients. Um, and so with my clients, what I actually do is I customize their profiles for them um, mm -hmm. or coach them to do it themselves. And I literally have a call to action here listed twice. So it's, this is kind of like my menu. This is the first. This is the first menu offering um, that I want to give out. That when somebody's reading my profile, I want to tell them what to do next. Okay. And you know, when you go to the restaurant, um, you typically order off the menu. Maybe some modifications, but you typically don't order something that's not on the menu. Um, you know, if if it's on the menu, you're more likely to select it than if it's not on the menu. So here's my menu of options. Schedule a call with me. Let's take the next step. Um, of course, people message me on LinkedIn, uh, and sometimes uh, I, I actually don't have my phone number listed on my profile. Some people do, and sometimes it's appropriate for that. I prefer to schedule calls with people. Um, if it allows me to be more uh, more valuable, more consistent, and focus on the task at hand, the conversation at hand, as yeah. opposed to random calls throughout the day. <laughs> so, uh, uh, that call to action is absolutely key, and that's what's missing from most marketing materials in general, mm. uh, you know, specifically uh, in, in the area that I predominantly in financial services, but, but in general, when you're looking at somebody's profile, okay, that's great information, but now what do I do? We want to tell people what to do next. If we, if we don't tell them, they're not going to do anything right. unless they have to. If we tell them, at least they have an option, at least 
they're likely to take that action because that's what the next step is. So we're literally laying down the breadcrumbs to lead people down the path that we want them to go down anyway, but they feel like they're going down that path on their own. So they don't feel like they're being sold. They don't feel like they're being pressured. And then I'm only talking to people that are interested in talking to me. They know who I am, what I do, and how I how I might be able to help them. And that's sure. a great so, one week, right? Hour. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's like a 24 hour sales letter that's just there. Um, that's just there all the time, basically. Absolutely. Absolutely. And here's how to get more exposure. So let's go on to the next slide here. Sure. Um, the next section is promotion. So once we've identified our presence and we've made our presence known and we've got our message dialed into our intended audience, um, of course, all of this stuff is free. So as your network grows, specifically on LinkedIn, this is true with just about any social media platform. As your network grows, your network grows. <laughs> if you notice, when you first get started on social media, uh, so that's that is like a snowball effect. It start the ball starts rolling and gets bigger and bigger and bigger. The more you're involved in the platform, regardless of what platform it is, um, it doesn't have to be specifically LinkedIn, but LinkedIn does some of that selling for you. So in the promotion area, um, as your network grows, your network is going to grow. So I connect with Brian. Brian's first level network becomes my second level network. Gotcha. I, if I connect with somebody that Brian knows, they bring their first level network to my second level network. So my network grows exponentially of people that I can connect with. So that's uh, that's one way to get some free traffic is just by viewing other people's profiles or connecting with a few people that you already know and then start looking at profiles. If you look at profile, if you just look at a profile. LinkedIn is going to tell that person, hey, Kevin looked at your profile. Okay. And they'll get an email with your picture, your name and your headline. And if your headline is appealing, they're likely to click on that and go look at your profile and then they get your message directly to them. Absolutely. So even just looking at somebody's profile can trigger some activity. Um, and offering somebody some value uh, and, and telling them what to do next, that's the next thing. So let's go on to the next slide here. I wanna uh, keep moving ahead. Sure, and let me, let me just let people who are already in it, if you have questions, I'm sure, if we have to go over, we'll just go over. So <laughs> uh, that is, Quite all right. So um, yeah, if you have questions in the comments, leave comments in, in the um, leave your comments. Just leave your comments, and we'll get you them as well. So let's go to the next slide. Here we go. Okay. So uh, for example, uh, I go look at Trisha Ward's profile here, and if I want to connect with her, um, she's a second level connection to me, uh, to me personally. So that connect button at the top there, you want to just click on that connect button, and uh, let's go to the next slide. It's going to uh, show the pop up there. Sure. Um, we want to personalize this connection invitation. So you're basically reaching out to this individual saying, hey, let's connect on LinkedIn. But we want to personalize that message. Dear first name, of course, change the first name. <laughs> Dear Trisha, um, hey, I came across your profile. I noticed this or this. I thought we might like to connect. Take a look at my profile and let's connect. If Trisha gets that message and my, my headline and my profile speaks to her as the audience, um, she's more likely to connect with me. She may not even view my profile. Mm -hmm. Some people don't even view your, your profile when you send them a connection invitation. And then what happens is, uh, let's go to the next slide. Um, you, this is my inbox uh, as of today, I guess. Um, and uh, this shows a message that uh, David Brooks here uh, is my first level connection. I sent him this message that shows up here. He connected with me, hasn't responded yet, mm -hmm. hasn't replied, but he responded with the connection. He accepted the connection invitation and now here's the inbox message that shows the message I sent him. So if he were to reply to that message, then it would show up here. Um, so really through this process, the main thing, once you get set up and you have your process in place, um, the, the I'm sorry, once you, once you have your presence and, and you're starting to promote yourself a little bit, that process is, is, is the follow up and follow through. So you literally, you just keep an eye on your inbox gotcha. uh, or reply messages where somebody says, hey, uh, yeah, I, I know who you are. I know I see who you are. I know what you do. Let's have a conversation. And that all happens within LinkedIn. Um, or if you have a call to action that leads people to your online calendar, um, they may just show up there uh, without you ever having to speak to them, without you ever speaking to them. But then you know who your appointments are with and you can review their profile prior to speaking with them. So you have a much more warm conversation than if you were just a cold call or reach out just in, in general without any sort of specific strategy. Uh, let's go to the next slide here. Sure. So that we, we covered the presence um, and the promotion here, getting some free traffic, telling people what to do next in your, in your connection invitation, 
just telling them, look at my profile and let's connect. Yeah. Somebody's more likely to look at your profile before they connect with you than not uh, yeah. in that manner. And then they get the full message. They get your full kind of connection message of what to do next. So once you get those dialed in and you start getting some activity, you can do all of this for free. Um, then you want to consider automating with a process so that you can maintain consistency. Because a lot of times what happens is people start doing some marketing and then they start falling down because they, they slack off in their marketing because they're busy with the clients, right? Yeah. So we want to keep maintaining that consistency so you have that steady flow of clients coming in on a regular basis. And there's ways to automate that. Uh, if you need help with that, I can help you with the automation uh, to maintain that consistency and also provide some follow-up and follow-through up beyond uh, just a simple connection invitation. But you can do all of this for free right now. Uh, you don't need to buy any tools or buy any third-party systems. You don't need to upgrade your LinkedIn account, uh, but you can start to get going right now, whether you have a zero network or you've got a huge network. This has nothing to do with the size of your network. It's about growing even more than what network you have. And of course, there's other ways to use your existing network. So if you do have a, let's say you capped out at, with LinkedIn, you've got the you know, 10,000 or how many maximum profile connections that you can accept there on LinkedIn. There's ways to leverage your existing connections in the same way through a, a messaging sequence and a, and a process. Okay. So that's kind of what I do in a nutshell to turn your, your profile into a power profit profile. And you'll start seeing results and activities immediately. I can't close a business for you. These are your leads. These are your clients, your prospective clients. They're going to be contacting you. Yeah. I can coach you on that, but I put the ball on the tee and you can knock it out of the park <laughs> or at least put on base a lot better, more, more consistently and efficiently than probably just about anything else that you've done before. Wow. I love it. I love it. I'm like speechless right now because <laughs> you know, we talked before about my ridiculous, ridiculous profile that needs to be fully updated at this point after, so after watching this now. Right. <laughs> so, um, oh man, I mean, if, if, again, if anybody has questions, just let us know in the, in the comments. This is incredible. I just want to get back to one question. So when you're connecting with people, you're not even trying to really say anything about what you do. You just say, just come, just come look at my profile. That's it. Is that basically what you Yeah. It's, it's a real soft introduction. Um, you know who you want to reach out to and, Honestly, they don't know that how many other people you've sent this message to. And because it's personalized with their dear first name uh, field, um, you'll be able to portray that as a one-to-one -one communication. And that's where a huge value is here, is that people don't know how many other messages you sent out sure. because it's just the connection invitation. If they connect with you, then you can have that one-to-one -one conversation all day long. Awesome. And you don't have to pay for that at all. Um, and you can you can pretty much guarantee that they're likely to see your message a lot more than if you were just to email somebody cold or call them cold. That <laughs> is more of a warm introduction. Right, right. Okay, that's awesome. That is so awesome. We got we got a few more slides here to go. Yeah, I think the the next one here is um, is what uh, what you could do next if, if you're interested in finding out more information. Uh, you can just go to powerprofitprofile.com. That'll take you to my private Facebook group. And um, when you get there, uh, that's what it looks like. And then the next slide, when you request to join this private group, this is a private group. Um, so I've got some qualifiers here to, uh, to let you in the group. Um, there is a section here to put in your best email address and I'm gonna send you a free copy of my book. And I think I got a picture of the book here on the next slide. Yeah. Here we go. Turn your social media profile into profit instantly. Uh, you will get a, a copy of that interactive book. Uh, I think you'll actually enjoy reading it. Uh, yeah. It's turning the pages, the virtual pages. Yeah. And, uh, if, if you have any questions, the group is the best place to take advantage of that, uh, where you'll get a lot of uh, insight into how to take advantage of LinkedIn specifically right now and uh, leverage your profile to make it uh, profitable. Awesome. There you go. Make sure you guys write that down. Powerprofitprofile.com. Get to this guy's group. This guy is amazing. <laughs> I was so excited for this here. I'm going to stop sharing the screen, but, but make sure you guys get that or just look at the replay. I'm going to get us back here. We got it done. We got, we got, we got it half an hour. We got 429. <laughs> 45 seconds. Yay. <laughs> so awesome. we, did it. we did it anyway. Awesome stuff, man. Please, everybody, also check, check out my Facebook group, Authority Builders Academy. We would have even more trainings there, um, there, because um, this is out here. I'm putting this out there for everybody, because it needs to be out there. Uh, but we're gonna get uh, maybe get Kevin more, some more in depth with the with the with, <laughs> with the group later on, possibly on another 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 um, training in that group. 
And that'd be awesome as well. Please go get his book. Go check him out. Check him out on LinkedIn. And um, yeah, any of the any of the any of the words here for us today, Kevin? No, I, you know, you got to start somewhere. I just want to encourage people to do something. You know, if you do nothing, you're going to get what you've gotten before. If you do something, at least you have a chance to to, to break the ice and move forward. Um, get out, a little bit out of your comfort zone a little bit. And, um, you know, don't, don't just copy what other people are doing unless they're successful with it. And I've, I've documented some success here with this with my clients. So I'll be happy to share that with uh, people that have any questions. Um, and thanks, y'all, for being here. Really, really excited to share this with you and give you some free help. Awesome. I appreciate it. Everybody, um, this is kind of a no-name show, but I, I think it's going to be called The Authority Project. And who is the project? You are. <laughs> Position your authority for success. And um, we got to do it for 2020, guys. we got to do it for 2020. Make sure this is the moment that you define for yourself. All right? Take care. Have a good one. Be blessed.